All right, critical points and extrema. So let's look at what these things are. Critical points could be things like maximums, maximum. The plural of that is maxima. And of course, minimum, that was not good. Min, among, I should have typed this. And the plural, of course, um, would be minima. Okay. There are things called points. I'm sorry, this is a little sloppy today. Points, wow, of inflection. I'll show you what that is. And all of these things together are called extrema. It's a very dramatic word that uh, all of these things are called extrema so crit or critical points. Critical points, and uh, you're going to be using technology to find these points, but we're going to start off by using our eyeballs to use to find these points. Okay, first critical point right here. This is called a maximum. Now, that is called, I'm going to put M-A-X for maximum. It is called, it has a specific name too. It has an adjective to describe it being a maximum. It is called a relative, relative maximum. This point is called a relative minimum. And the reason why, there, there are things called relative maximums and there's things called <clears throat> an absolute maximum. And they're different. So you got to be able to tell which is which. Uh, there's another critical point on this, which I'll put in like, <coughs> excuse me, like bright, um, whatever color that is. Let's make that red, actually, so it sticks out. That point right there is called a point of inflection. A point of inflection. And uh, the reason why you can tell what a point of inflection is, is do you see how this this is a downward U shape? Like, I'll, I'll just kind of sketch it here. That's, that's like a downward U shape. That has this fancy name, too, that we're not really going to talk about. We might as well mention it. It's called concave down. When it stops going concave down or opening, think U shape opening down. And when it starts the U-shape opening up again, like a regular U, this would be called um, concave up. Well, when that happens, this point right here, that is called a point of inflection. This is a point of inflection. A point of inflection is where a graph stops. It basically changes its curvature. How about that? it changes this curvature or it stops being concave down and starts being concave up or it could go the other way too it could go like this and then that would be a point of inflection right there okay this is concave up this is concave down but what i want you to be able to do is spot minimums maximums and points of inflection all right now remember these are relative so now i just have a bunch of uh a bunch of graphs here that I pre-drew. Let's look at something like this. Something like this. Let's go ahead and put in the minimums and the maximums and we'll figure out what these things are. Okay, just these three green dots. We won't On this one we won't talk about uh, points of inflections. This is called a minimum. But it, it, do you see how it is the lowest point on this graph right here? That is the lowest point this graph is going to get because these two arrowheads are both pointing up. This, this is called an absolute minimum. Whereas this one here is called a relative minimum. And I think you can see the difference now. Absolute minimum relative minimum and uh, this point right here this purple point I will put is called a maximum of course that's the the peak of the roller coaster 
instead of the bottom, the bottoms are called minimums, the tops are called maximums, the little humps, is this, would this be a relative maximum or an absolute maximum? What do you think? It's a relative. Why? Because it's not the highest point on this graph. These arrowheads here uh, spoil that for us because it goes on forever. This is called a relative maximum. All right. So we're reviewing the words absolute and relative now. Let's look at a very confusing graph now and see how you do with it. Okay. At this point here, this, even though there's no humps to this, this would be some kind of absolute value piecewise function here, this is still a maximum. Okay, that's a maximum. Now the question is, is it relative or absolute maximum? And the answer would be, this would be a relative maximum. Relative. Because of this arrowhead. Now I deceived you with this arrowhead because I stopped it here. Where does it go? Well, it goes up forever. That arrowhead goes up to the sky. And so it wouldn't be, this would not be the highest point on this graph. But what about this point? What do you think that would be called? This is called an absolute, good, absolute minimum. Okay, all of these things in this idea here are called critical points and extrema of graphs. That's basically it, and now I would just, uh, you know, in class train you to do this on the calculator. Talk to you later.